this is where they're going to have the port, um, the port for the cruise ships come in. So you can see them starting to do some work over there. Those things piled up are things removed from the sea floor and remnants of the concrete dock from the old Cold War. So this is where it's going to be a buzz of action come January 2020. Now in Kingston Harbor, we have some areas that are over 60 feet deep. That part is over that side where you see those big beacons, that's the ship channel. So that's where the ships come in. That's the deepest and safest place for them to navigate safely to port. There are some areas that are less than three feet deep. So you'd be looking in the middle of the harbor and you expect over there is deep, right? But yeah, when you're looking over there, you may see somebody standing up in the water. He's not Jesus walking on the water or anything <laughs> like that. It's just that over there is shallow. So throughout the harbor, you have these shallow areas and deep areas. It's just like on land. You have a very slope, undulated. you know where the slope, like if you're drawing a mountain in a little kiddie picture, you draw it coming down. To yeah. Below. Follow the slope of it down, you can see Long Mountain Country, country Club up there. See all those houses on the hill? Yeah. That's Long Mountain. Follow the slope of Long Mountain down. You see the stadium lights. Yeah. Yeah. The blue lights in stadium. Mm -hmm. You know the blue towers with the lights? Yeah. yeah. All right. You see it? Right here. You see the black and red ship? Yeah. yeah. Look to the right of it. Just continue right slowly and behind it is the blue oh, yeah. All right. All right. Follow stadium left. You can see New Kingston. Along the same contour, meaning the same line that New Kingston is on. Follow it left. You can see the bus center in halfway tree. Hello? You don't see the arch? Look! It's over there. Alright, you see the blue and red ship? Follow the blue and red ship right and slightly behind that first factory to the right. Oh, I see it. Alright, you see the arch for halfway tree. Alright. Look behind the blue and red ship now. You know the hotel on the hill in Manor Park? Yes. Alright, so the hotel on the hill in Manor Park. So that means you're looking up into Stony Hill. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. Follow that left. All of those houses over there, that's Red Hills going into Plantation Heights. And this is in the area, meaning in Jamaica, that the brown pelican is known to reproduce. So it would be very important to maintain here as a nesting site for these bird populations. It is nesting season, so I'm going to show you a few baby birds. So a way to tell, so like the pirate birds, they're one of the few birds where you can look at them and you know the gender. So let's take some, like well, the ones with the white heads and the white bellies or chest, those are juveniles. So all of these are young babies, young, young, young pirate birds. The one with the red thing by the throat or a light red thing, that's a male. It's an inflatable pouch to attract the females. <laughs> the females are like bland. <laughs> the females are black heads and white bellies. All right, so if you look in this tree right here, I'm gonna like reduce my noise. If you look in the tree over there, you'll see some white feathered yeah. birds. And those are baby pelicans. See how big they are? These here are herons, so like that one over there, that's a heron low down. Now, even though you're seeing all these birds, we're also seeing a lot of garbage. So, 23 gullies, empty over here, empty in the Kingston Harbor. If you look over there, you're probably getting stuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Watch your heads and hands. <laughs> so we're just going to stop in the entrance out of the sun for a few minutes. We're slowing down the boat, so when you hear the noise, we're just slowing down the boat. No need to worry. Alright, so if you just listen to my voice while you're looking, it will make your looking experience easier. Um, so this is the natural channel I was telling you about. So this, nobody came in here with a machete to open this area. Fishermen like to use it as a shortcut. This is the channel, by the way, that I tell you was named after one of the founders. With body channel, body channel. So, water, because even though they can grow in salt water, to handle excessive amounts of salt, it actually takes up productive time of the plant. 
So you start them off in fresh water and then over time you increase the salinity of the water. Now if we're going to do an out planting exercise, probably three months before the date, we try and match the conditions of the nursery to the out planting site to increase survival rate and reduce shock on the plant. So we do a lot of baseline.